Hello, welcome back. In last session, we've covered a different type of casting in C++. In this session, we'll look at some examples and uh, come up with a summary. Let's look at the example with dynamic cast. We have a dog which has a virtual destructor. Remember, the um, dynamic cast requires the types to be polymorphic, so they need to have at least one virtual function. And we have a yellow dog derived from dog, and the yellow dog can bark. In main function, I first create a new dog and assign it to a dog's pointer PD. And sometime later, uh, under different context, I got a Im wrong impression that PD is actually pointing to a yellow dog. So I dynamically cast PD to a yellow dog's pointer PY, which is obviously a bug that I introduced. Then I let PY barked, and for debug purpose, I print out the value of PY and PD. Now, what will be the output from this program? You may want to pause the video and think about it. The output is woof, it barked, and the PY is zero, and PD is some kind of pointer. So, what happened in this code? First of all, Yellow dog is derived from dog, so that means all yellow dogs are dogs, but not all dogs are yellow dogs. So when I cast a PD, um, which is a dog, um, to a yellow dog, it certainly will fail, and as a result, the PY will become zero, as we see here. And then when PY bark, isn't that a now access? It's actually not, because when the compiler CPY to bark, it will try to interpret bark function to be a static function. And in this example, the bark function didn't access any member of uh, any data member of yellow dog, so it can indeed be treated as a static function. So PY barked successfully which makes a perfect cover up for my bug. Now suppose I make the bug function to access the yellow dog's member data. Now the compiler can no longer treat bug function as a static function. So when PR bugs, it will crash which is a better thing because the, the debugger will immediately point me to where the bug happened. Rather, rather than before, the bug is completely hidden and I have no idea when the bug will explode. Now suppose I am not going to use dynamic cast, I use static cast. Unlike dynamic cast, the static cast will not perform runtime type check. So the static cast of a, yellow, a dog's pointer to a yellow dog's pointer will always succeed. So PY can, will never be a null pointer. When PY bark, it will access a part of memory that doesn't belong to PY, and the result is undefined. Sometime it will uh, crash, but most of the time, it will run through and print out of uh, print out a, diff a random number for age. So as a result, uh, the bug become more unchanged and elusive. This is why we need to be very careful when using cast. And apparently, static cast is more risky to use than dynamic cast. The correct way to do it is we still use dynamic cast. And before let me py to bark, we'll check if py is now pointer or not. And now it will work as we expected. But can we make the code uh, better? We actually can. A better approach for this code is adding a virtual bark function 
for dog. And now in the main function, instead of using a dynamic cast with some type now check, I can simply um, call py bark. Now why this code is better? First of all, it reduces the cyclomatic complexity of the code. Instead of having three lines for code with a if statement, I have only one line for code. And secondly, and this is a better object-oriented design because we are relegating the responsible responsibility of invoking the right bug function to the object itself, the PD, whether it's a dog or a yellow dog. So we'll have a, a better managed code. And lastly, by using the virtual function, I can gain a little bit of the performance advantage because the dynamic cast using runtime type identification and runtime type identification could be very costly um, for uh, depends on the compiler and sometimes it could be up to 50, 50 times more expensive. So in summary, um, polymorphism is a better and more elegant solution uh, than using type casting. Sometimes the casting can become a handy tool to hack code, which may or may not be a good thing, um, but we'll look at it anyway. Again, we have a class dog, and the dog have a bark function, and this time the bark function is a const function. What does a, a const function mean? Who is const? Literally speaking, only a variable or an object can be a const. A function cannot be a const. Then who has become const as a result of the keyword const? It's it's the object pointed to by this pointer become a const in the scope of the bug function. Now if uh, in the bug function I try to change um, name equal to Henry. The compiler will not let me to do it because the compiler knows this function is a const function and I cannot change the member data of the dog in this function. However, if I really want to change the name of the uh, dog in this function, I can do const cast Docs pointer this um, name equal to Henry. Now I have successfully changed uh, the data member of dog inside the dog's uh, const function. This is a table that summarizes all the castings that we've talked about so far. And there are a lot of information in this table, so I hope I will not put you into sleep. First of all, I grouped uh, all the casting into two groups. One is object casting, and another one is pointer and reference casting, because these two are so much different from each other in terms of the behavior. There are four columns. First one is generic code. Uh, it indicates whether the casting will generate a substantial runnable code that will get executed during runtime. Generate data, uh, whether the casting will generate a, a different data object um, and saved in memory. Here I don't count a pointer as a data, only the point T counts. Risky level, how risky is it to use the cast? Data type, what kind of data type can the cast perform on? Object casting, there are only one cast can be used on object casting, which is the static cast. The, uh, the static cast for object always generate code. It will invoke either the 
uh, type conversion function or the constructor of uh, the casted uh, type. So it will generate a substantial runnable code. Generate data, the static cast of object will generate a new data and to be used. Risky level, static cast of object is not so risky to use. The only place uh, I can think of is if you defined too many of the implicit type conversion, then sometimes the code will become tricky. Data type. You can perform static cast on any types as long as the type conversion is defined for these two types. Pointer reference casting. All four cast can be used on a pointer and reference casting. Static cast for pointers. Um, it will not generate code. It merely tell the compiler to interpret the pointer in a different way. It will not generate uh, data either. It will work on the same data that's being pointed to. And uh, as we've seen in previous example, that static cast is very risky to use. It always succeed, and uh, you need to be very careful not to make a wrong cast. Static cast on hand only work on related types, which means between child and parent. Dynamic cast will generate additional. Uh, runnable code because it will perform runtime type check to see if the ty two types are compatible for dynamic cast. Dynamic cast typically will not generate additional data. It will work on the same data being pointed to. And the dynamic cast is less risky than the static cast because of the dynamic uh, runtime check it performs. And it can only work on related types, and most of the time it's used for downcasting. Down casting. Const cast will not generate code and will not generate data. And it's very safe to use, but it's not completely risk free because uh, by using const cast, you are changing an object that originally being considered a const. So you are breaking someone's promise for the object to be const. Const, const cast can only work on same type. Reinterpret cast, it will not generate code, it will not generate data, and it is the most risky operation you can do. It can work on any types and it will always succeed, which means you need to be very clear what you are doing and making sure you are casting things correctly. C style cast is a mixture of a static cast, const cast, and a reinterpret cast. So based on that, you can get the answers for the table based on the content of previous table. Oh, I've I've uploaded all the notes to my personal website and you can download the notes and save it for future reference if you like. So this wraps up our discussion on the castings. I hope you enjoy the video. See you next time. Bye.